In this lesson, I want to teach you a little bit about image resolution and size. Basically, the higher the resolution the image, um, obviously the more detail it's going gonna, it's gonna to look crisper, it's going to look more detailed the more you zoom in on it, but also will take up more space. The file will be larger. And we'll take a look at a couple. Let's go into to Adobe Bridge. What's nice is it gives you some detail. I kind of expanded this. It was over here before. So you can see more of it. So when you just click once on an image, like this boat here by the lake, it tells you all the detail about that image. And if it was taken with a digital camera, it'll give you all the camera data that was transferred, the ISO level, everything. So here we see that it's 640 by 513. And the PPI is 72 PPI, and it takes up 2 megs for that file. And it's a TIFF image, that's the format of the image. And dimensions, 8.9 inches by 7.1, 16-bit, and it's RGB color. And just so you know, RGB, that's used for basically mobile and web authoring. And CMYK, which you'll see in Photoshop, because you can choose what you're dealing with. Let's pull that picture in there. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so if we go to image, mode, you notice how we're on RGB color? The main two you'll use is RGB and CMYK. RGB is for, you know, for uh, web design, you're intending the final product to be viewed on a screen because the way a screen portrays color is different than um, how it'll look on paper. So RGB is used for the web or for screens. Now CMYK is used for printing. So most of the time you're probably going to deal with RGB. Well, let's look at this document now. Remember we were looking at some of these um, details, 72 PPI, 640 by 513. Now when you open a brand new document you're given options. I think I mentioned this before. How wide you want it in inches because remember this just as a point of reference was um, 8.9 by 7.1 so we can choose the width we want. We don't have to choose inches. We could choose pixels or whatever. And then the resolution. This is crucial. Pixels per inch. So the more pixels per inch, the more PPI it is, um, the more detailed it's going to be. And then how many bits. Now the crucial thing with bits is you see you have 8, 16, 32, and obviously you're going to get more detail with 32 bit. But some of the filters, some of the tools won't work with the higher bit selection. So right now we're in 8-bit, right? And we can go and use a lot of these. Now if we go into 32-bit, look at how some of them disappeared. You're not able to use as many tools. So there's just an FYI for you. And then when we save an image, let's say we save changes, we would go save as here. And we're given the options to save as a Photoshop file, PSD, or PDD, a TIFF file, portable bitmap. A few different options were given. It even tells you right here in the name of the file it's 16-bit. So, if it is 16-bit, you can always change it to 8 to see if that'll allow you, see it's going to convert it, and then that'll allow you to use more of the effects. So there's a little bit of information on uh, PPI, pixels, resolution, and coloring.